Hey everyone, it's Judy from Jay Windsor Art. I haven't done a haul in a very long time, but I always like to see how things from Temu actually look in person, just so that I can see like if it's worth buying it or not. So I thought I'd just do a little haul slash slightly a review of the things I got recently. The first little category of things I got is enamel pins and some keychains. So I just recently got a new pencil pouch, which I'll be showing you very soon. And I also have the Delphonics Utility pouch, and I'm trying to figure out what I want to put in it. I haven't really decided yet what's like the most important stuff, but I also wanted to decorate it. And I've seen people put pins on the outside, and I think that looks really cute. So I got some enamel pins. Um, these are from Studio Ghibli. You've got like My Neighbor Totoro right there, which is adorable. I love all those movies. And there's this one. This one. So those all came in a set of five. And then I also got this one that says, don't touch my planner, which I just think is very appropriate. Don't touch it. Then I also got a charm. This is like the little mini faux traveler's notebook. Um, I, it actually has paper in it. I don't think I'll be using it because it's so small. There's, I don't know what I would put in here. It's mostly just for decoration. Um, but I was thinking this would look really cute on like a zipper pull or something. It has like a little keychain on it. It's really adorable. And then I also got this macrame keychain because I just love macrame and I think it's really pretty. And the color's nice and muted, kind of a dusty purple la lilac lavender kind of color um, and then it's got this gold hardware and I probably if I wanted to could learn how to make one of these but I just didn't want to so <laughs> I bought one it was cheap next up I actually got some not pens I know these look like pens but they're not they're little blades I don't know if you can see that but it has sort of like a teeny tiny exacto knife blade on the tip there uh, and I was thinking in case any of the stickers I use uh, need to be cut out by hand because sometimes when you buy them from Temu, that's how they are. Or if you get like PET tapes, like those you have to cut. So I didn't have anything handy for that. And this would particularly go really easily into one of my pencil pouches. So I got a few of these. Up next, I got something a little bit random, but it's this adorable, tiny, chubby book of uh just ephemera and like trans semi-translucent pieces of paper uh, i want to get into doing a little bit more collage and um, i really like sort of a vintage botanical aesthetic so this one really has all kinds of papers in it you've got like music you got plant pages and they're such a tiny size i figured it'd be really easy to glue these in and you can layer them with other things like stickers or other papers or washi tape whatever you want so this is kind of a new venture for me i mostly use just die cut stickers and um, highlighters pens like i don't do a lot of collage and i rarely use photos and that kind of thing so i want to try something new and this tiny chubby book just could not be resisted how cute is that so cute so before I get into the stickers I bought, I wanted to show you this pencil case. So I've been on a kind of a pencil case binge lately, looking at what other people have and trying to figure out what would work best for me. And so I wanted to try this one because it was cheap and it expands and you can put your planner inside of it, notebooks. It just has multiple pockets for whatever you want. It has like a large pocket on this side that goes all the way down and then you can close it up and carry it with you or you can just leave it open on your desk. So I like the flexibility of this but I don't yet know exactly what I want to put in all the pockets. Maybe we'll do a little little bit of that at the end of the video. Fill it up and see if I like it. It's not like the best quality in the world. There's sort of this, I don't know if this is a seam or like a mist stitch or something but like it doesn't feel exceptionally well crafted. There's sort of like a loose thread but you really can't beat the price on Temu so uh yeah I bought it and I'm gonna try it 
Next up, we'll be going over the stickers I bought. And I just want to say I mostly go for sticker sheets. I don't like sort of sticker flakes and loose stickers because it can be really hard to peel the backing off of those. And I just find it kind of tedious when I'm trying to plan. I just want to slap the sticker in there and move on. Most of these are pre-cut, so I don't have to do any fussy cutting with scissors or anything like that. So first up are these cinema roll stickers in this adorable little pouch. And I actually was looking for tiny pouches more so than the stickers inside because I want a place to put small ephemera and stuff like this. If I have a few loose sheets, I don't want to lose them. So I was looking for a little pouch that's like more than just a clear case. And so this has like a cute little design of the character, which I think is really adorable. And I've seen people put these little pouches in their pencil cases, and it just seems a lot more efficient than having them individually in there, because you can just kind of grab and go. That one got like stuck a little bit on the mesh of the back pocket, so maybe that's not the ideal pocket. So I'm just going to show you a few of the stickers in here. So these are little die cut stickers, they have backing, and you do have to kind of get in there with your fingernail and try to get the backing paper off. but. Then they'll go just straight into my journal, as is. Very cute. It's one like this. Oh, that one. My ears are so big. Next up, I got a set of sticker sheets that are actually uh, washi stickers. I think this was called something like Galaxy Girl or like Under the Sea, something like that. So they're all kind of blue, pink, purple, very like soft watercolor looking. Um, shapes and I'll show you that they do actually come pre-cut but it is washi tape so you have to be careful and then it's on a clear backing if you can see my finger there so those won't add bulk to your planner which is great they're just a little trickier to peel Next up are another set of washi stickers. These are pre-cut as well, but these have the dates for every month. They say the month name and then they have the number and they also have like a little mini version of the month. So January 1st and then January and there's a little Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday if you want to like circle what day it is. So this I thought would be nice just for anything undated or adding a little extra sticker to my date pages. I use dated planners, so I don't really need this, but if I'm ever in like my traveler's notebook, that's just a plain notebook. So I can add these and know what date it is. All right, I have another sticker book here. Um, this one I think it was like categorized by color and this was like the yellow or beige color, something like that. But there's a lot of soft florals in here, which I really like the colors and all that. And so you, I think you get two copies of each sticker first half of the book is all on washi paper so it's this smooth washi paper with clear backing and they are pre-cut so you don't have to do any of that fussy cutting and then in the back of the book there is a second copy of them on a clear backing so clear stickers kind of shiny and glossy or if you want something you could write on then you can go for the washi section Next up, I got a book of Garden Secret stickers, which is mostly just windows and butterflies and flowers and stuff like that. And this is all on a clear, um, glossy surface. So the image itself is not actually super glossy where it's printed, like the ink is a little bit less reflective, but the backing definitely is super shiny and clear. But these were just so beautiful, I had to... I had to get them. I love florals. I love soft colors. And they're really, really beautiful. I think you just get one of each, or is it two of each? I think you just get one of each sticker, as far as I can tell. And it kind of goes through the rainbow there, like blue, green, a little bit of pinks, reds, a little bit of purple in there. So, a good variety of stickers in this one. All right, this is a second to last stickers I got. Sort of a different style. I definitely love all kinds of styles in my journal. Sometimes I like vintage, sometimes I like florals, sometimes I like really, really cutesy stuff. And um, I just couldn't resist these. Um, some of the words, you know, they're very cute, like big bubbly characters. And these are again on washi paper. So I was really looking for a lot of like washi stickers and they are pre-cut. 
So it says kind of random words here. You got the months, numbers, and you can cut them out individually, I think, if you want to. Days of the week, you got Wednesday, and you get two of each. So you don't have to worry about never having another one. And they kind of go through the rainbow as well. You've got yellows, purples, blues, greens, all different colors. So it says like, have fun, October. Oh yeah. And there's also like a little bear, a little bunny. It's a good variety. I felt like I could use these whenever I'm feeling cutesy. And last but not least, I got this um, set of stickers that came in this fancy box. Anyway, inside it had these stickers, which you do need to cut. They're not individually sliced around. So it is on like a thinner washi sticker paper, but then you do need to cut whatever you want, unless you plan on using the whole page, which I don't think most people would. But I like the flexibility of, you know, if you only need a couple inches of like a border or something, you can just cut it where it is and you know, only use what you need. And um, little words and stuff, smile. Just again, for when I'm in that cutesy aesthetic mode. Kind of going through the rainbow, I see a theme here. Lots of these go through the rainbow. We had like red, green, pink, or kind of a bluish purple. And then we have yellow, in case you didn't know this was yellow. <laughs> And there's more blue and green and purples here. I just thought these were so cute. And then in the back there are two sort of um, paper-like sheets. I don't, these aren't stickers, so you can just cut around them and like write stuff in if you want. You can maybe like tip it in with some washi tape or something as a little extra space to write. 